tasya udeti nama so all the names which are given these these are the presence in a small place such as chakshu is possible the rupa ityadi the way rupa ityadi were possible hiranyash mashru the golden form the golden mustache these are all characteristics of the same parmatma the dharmas are mentioned for aiding upasana for facilitating upasana that will not limit the parmatma the parmatma tattva will remain so the ananta tattva remains ananta even when it is reflected in the chakshu and with nama roopa udeti nama or hiranyashma shuru roopa all these are only tools for upasana they do not limit parmatma so ityadi nama roopanam tesham upasanarthatvena vyapadeshat iha api sam iha api sambhavat parmatmanah dharmana sambhavat so that's the idea here in the antaradikaran and then sukha vishishta abhidhana devach we looked at the sukha which sukha which is talked about that is not possible in any any other upasya in any other upasya there cannot be sukha vaishishtya the reflected sukha is not its own sukha it is sukha of the bimba and that bimba has to be parmatma because parmatmanah atmanah brahmana sukarupatvat so yat sukha vishishtam brahma tasya eva ih abhidana ityartha here also the same brahma tattva is discussed the sukha ityadi talk about the same brahma tattva then we looked at shruta upanishad ka gatya vidhana cha so shruta upanishad upanishad is rahasyam brahma vijnanam yasya sa tatha so that brahma vit meaning upasaka their vidya brahm brahma vetti iti brahma vid that vid dhatu there is in upasana artha dhyana artha so brahma vijnanam and brahma vijnanam means brahma upasana and brahma vit means brahma upasaka and tasya tas tasy brahmavidaha ya gatihi the gati which is talked about is what he will reach brahmaloka so yad bhavam tad bhavati you cannot have upasya as some devata or jeeva and the result being brahmaloka the bare minimum that is needed for upasaka to reach brahmaloka is the upasya should be brahma that is the bare minimum that is expected whether or not it is done with so many other angas ityadi are not as important to conclude that upasana has to be on some particular entity for the phala to accrue in the form of brahma loka the bare minimum is that the upasya for that upasana should be brahma and then we looked at other upanishad quotations as to how this gati is brahma loka uttarena ityadi atha uttarena tapasa brahma charana ityadi and agnir jyotirah shukra shanmasa uttarayana as the smruti as the gita text so with this uh, i think uh, yeah, there was another yeah there was another last sutra there in that adhikarana anavasthiter asambhavachya naitarah and here we looked at it is impossible for anyone else to be the upasya be it a reflection or anyone other than the parmatma atma tattva because amrutatvadi gunas are not possible that is asambhava and anavasthite is because even if you say that no i will have someone whenever i want to do upasana i'll have some bimba in front of me i'll bring drag in someone i'll hire someone whatever you want to conclude if the puro pakshi has to conclude in that manner that i will still be able to source someone beat anyone any jeeva and get the reflection of that in my in my chakshu and then do upasana if you insist then there will be anavasthiti that pratibimba the purusha himself is the jeeva who you will drag there is anavasthiti of that jeeva also therefore 
you don't have control over your own upasana complete you don't have control over yourself let alone someone else so there will be anavasthiti and asambhava of these gunas amrutatvadi so you are going against the shruti to interpret the way you have already concluded logic is not supporting shruti is not supporting it is all vitanda so anavasthites uh, anavasthite he asambhavaccha na itaraha so that ended the antaradikaranam now the antaryami adikaranam looks at the antaryami in prithvi one who is there who is that because in prithvi or on prithvi both are saptam yartha i can say that devadattah bhumau tishtati bhutale tishtati bhutale ghata vartate so all that is what on the on the ground devadatta is standing on the ground on is the translation there above the ground the pot is on the ground and then we i can also say that you know uh, bhumau manayaha santi i can also say that there are gems in the bhumi so that is in the bhumi bhumau can be in or on also so bhumau devadattah tishtati versus bhumau manayaha santi so all that you need to know now whether it is in or on <coughs> and lead to confusion because if the mantra says one is a prithivyam if prithivyam is mentioned then prithvi can mean what prithvi can mean prithvi bhuloka it can mean prithvi as devata then on further interpretation of the saptami you can have in prithvi or on prithvi so these are the various ways in which puro pakshi himself may be confused and may confuse others also so with that the antaryami adhikarana begins purvam sthanadi upadeshaach iti sutre yah prithivyam tishtan prithivyam tishtan being on prithvi or being in prithvi both meanings are possible vyakrana allows it so yah prithivyam tishtan in the earlier sutra we had seen the sthanadi upadeshaach there इति सूत्रे यह पृथिव्यां तिष्टन इत्याद अंतर्यामी ब्राह्मणस्तम इन द अंतर्यामी ब्राह्मण देयर इज अ मंत्र यश चक्षुषि तिष्टन इत्यादि वाक्यम अंतर्यामिनः ब्रह्मत्वम सिद्धवत कृत्य उदाहृतम इट इज इट इज एक्सेप्टेड इट इज एक्सेप्टेड दैट इट इज डीलिंग विद ब्रह्म अंतर्यामी इज ब्रह्म that upasana is brahma upasana so yah prithivyam tishtan shatranta pada says that being on or in prithvi we look at on or in prithvi there bhagwan bhashyakara says something just mention it on prithvi or in prithvi being tishtan being present that antaryami antaryami who is on or in prithvi being so yash chakshushi tishtan also so that antaryami is also in the chakshu so it has already been assumed that this yah chakshushi tishtan is ब्रह्म परमात्मा इन स्थानादि उपदेशाच्च सूत्र वी हैव सीन दिस सो द कंक्लूजन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन मेड सिद्धवत कृत्य उदाहृतम तद आक्षिप्य समादत्ते नाउ द पूर्व पक्षी ऑब्जेक्ट्स टू दैट बिकॉज़ यह पृथिव्याम तिष्टन इज आल्सो देयर सच मंत्र आल्सो एग्जिस्ट तद आक्षिप्य समादत्ते इति आक्षेप संगत्य इदम देयर इज एन आक्षेप संगति as to that antaryami who is in chakshu yes chakshu shu tishtan because in chakshu is parmatma you have concluded 
and this reminds what went by that is also dealing with the chakshugata purusha so it triggers the objection in the purva paksha he says yah prithivyam tishtan there the antaryami who is that that antaryami can be jiva for a yogi it can be jiva need not be paramatma that is the objection the answer given is in the antaryami adhikaranam antaryami adhi devadishu tad dharma vipadeshat antaryami adhi devadishu tad dharma vipadeshat so antaryami adhi devadishu so antaryami adhi devadishu is adhi deva not only adhi deva adhi padena the other two also so who who is that who is there as antaryami adideva adibhuta and adhyatma these are the three in with adipada you bring in the other two adideva adibhuta adhyatma in an individual in this surrounding and in the adishthatru devatas in all these three one who is antaryami What is antaryami? Antastitva yamayati iti antaryami. One who controls being within. That is antaryami. So that antaryami who is the inner controller in all of these three tattvas. Adhyatma, whether an individual, meaning at all levels. In the sum total of all three, in each and every of one of those. who is there within and an inner inner controller being within he controls yamayati rules over that overlord ya antaryami tad dharma vipada who is that that is paramatma so the sutra artha is what antaryami brahma eva paramatma eva kutaha adidaivadishu meaning adidaiva adibhuta adhyatmasu तस्य ब्रह्मण एव तद्धर्म व्यपदेशा तस्य ब्रह्मण एव व्यपदेशा सो द पदच्छेद इज अंतर्यामी अधिदैवादिषु तद्धर्म व्यपदेशा एंड तद्धर्म व्यपदेशा इज अ समासा व्हिच इज तस्य षष्टी तस्य धर्म धर्माः तस्य धर्माणां व्यपदेशा सो तद्धर्म तस्य धर्म तद्धर्म तेषां व्यपदेशा What are tadharma, amrutatwa, the which are mentioned earlier, same and more are mentioned. There are so many dharmas mentioned which cannot be in jiva. So Puro Pakshi says they are jiva, jiva dharmas. They cannot be jiva dharmas because amrutatwam is not a jiva dharma. It is Brahma dharma. It is not the individualized jiva dharma. If the jiva is Brahma, we agree. Yes. That jiva is Brahma. So whether you say jiva dharma or Brahma dharma, if you mean aikya between jiva and Brahma, we don't have any disagreement. But when the Puro Pakshi says jiva dharma, he means an individual jiva, a samsari jiva. Samsari jiva does not have amrutatvam. Otherwise, he wouldn't be a samsari. The very fact that one considers oneself as a samsari means that there is no amrutatvam at all. considers that that person considers that i am a karta bhokta wants to have more and more and attain amrutatva attain immortality by karma and upasana by gati by travel to some other loka by swarga brahma loka ityadi lokas but that that jiva does not consider oneself as amruta tattva is a mortal mortal jiva not an immortal सो अत्र पूर्व पक्षे प्रधान से योगिन जीवस व उपास्ति पूर्व पक्षी से दैट इट कैन बी जीव और प्रधान सांख्या से दैट इट कैन बी प्रधान योगी से दैट इट कैन बी जीव बिकॉज देर आर अदर धर्मास विच मेक इट पॉसिबल समेर देर इज अ मेन्शन ऑफ some dharma which can be pradhana dharma as per the purva pakshi 
So Puro Pakshi Sankhya says that if you look at some dharmas, it appears that you need not go as far as Paramatma. You can say that it is Pradhana. Why do you have to go to Ishwara? We do not accept Ishwara in the first place. Not all Sankhyas accept Ishwara. There is Seshwara Sankhya also. But mostly Sankhya is considered as Nireshwara Sankhya. So he says you don't have to talk about Purusha or Parameshwara there. You can talk about Pradhana. Because Avyakta Dharma is also there. We look at in the Adhikarana itself, not necessarily in this Sutra. So Atra Pura Pakshe Pradhanasya Yoginaha Jeevasya Va Upastihi. Siddhante Paramatmanaha Eva Iti Phala Bhedaha. Siddhanti says no, it cannot be. It cannot be. Anyone but Paramatma. Because dharmas which are talked about, they belong only to Paramatma, the way we have seen in other Adhikaranas also. So similar arguments are there. Dharmas are not belonging to Jiva. Even if you say the Yogi, Siddha Yogi Jiva. So Yogi na Jiva means not all Jivas. Yogi says, see when I talk about Jiva, I don't mean that kind of a samsari Jiva who finds himself limited and under you know under the influence of all sorts of circumstances i am talking about the siddha yogi that yogi who has had samadhi anubhava that yogi who has gone through the third pada of the yoga sutras has vibhuti has siddhis that yogi can be upasya so that is his argument siddhante parmatmane eviti phala beda brahadarnake shruvate in brahadarnake upanishad what is heard Yaha Prachivyam Tishtan, which is seen in the Sangati also. Prachivi Antaraha Yamayati Iti Esha Ta Antar Ta Atma. So that Atma Antar Yami Amrutaha. So the mantra is Yaha Prachivyam Tishtan. There are other words also. Then Prachivi Mantaro Yamayati Esha Ta Atma Antar Yami Amrutaha Ityadi. So that is the Brahad mantra. There, Prithivi Yamayati. So that Prithivi Antaraha, he is this Yaha, one who is in the Prithivi. Puropakshi says on the Prithivi, if you mean on the Prithivi, then it can be anyone. So there Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, Yaha Prithiviyam Tishtan Bhavati Saha Antaryami. See, Sarvaha Prithiviyam Tishtati Iti. So here Prithiviyam is on the Prithivi. Sarvaha, everyone is on the Prithivi. Nobody is in the Prithivi. When we talk about people and pranis, we talk about jivas who are on the Prithivi. On the, in the Karma Loka, on Prithivi, Bhu Loka, we talk about jivas on, not in. Therefore, Sarvaha Prithiviyam Tishtati Iti Sarvatra Prasango Mahabhut. May this not be confused with anyone and everyone. That Antaryami means anyone and everyone because everyone are on Prithvi. Therefore, Yaha Prithiviyam Tishtan means anyone, Sarvaha. Anyone can be the Artha because all are on Prithvi. Iti Sarvatra Prasanga Mahabhut. Let that kind of a misinterpretation not be there. Therefore, what the Upanishad does is Prithivya Antara Abhyantaraha. Iti Vishinashti. It describes further as what? Prithivya Antaraha Abhyantaraha. It says Antaraha. If you say Yaha Prithivya Tishtan, one who being on Prithvi, it can be any jiva who is there on the Prithvi Loka. Then Prithvim Antaraha, this Antaraha won't work. Being within, that kind of a meaning will not sink in with Samanadi Karanam. Therefore, this Prithvim has to mean in Prithvi. So, one who is within Prithvi, not Bhu Loka, really Prithvi is Devata. One who is within the Prithvi Devata also. Prithvi Antara Yamayati, Prithvim Yamayati controls not Bhu Loka, Bhu Loka also, but with the Adhishthatra Devata, Prithvi Devata itself.
सो तत्र एतत् स्या भगवान भाष्यकार से जे तत्र दे मंत्रा वाज यह पृथ्वीयां तिष्ठन एंड देन अदर थिंग्स वर स्किप इफ यू लुक एट द मंत्रा प्रॉपर यह पृथ्वीयां तिष्ठन पृथ्वी अंतरः यम पृथ्वी न वेद यस्य पृथ्वी शरीरम यह पृथ्वी मंत्रः यमयत्केशत आत्मा अंतर याम यमृतः सो द मिडिल पार्ट आल्सो इफ यू लुक एट इट यम पृथ्वी न वेद सी पृथ्वी भूलोका बीइंग जड़ा कैन नॉट नो पृथ्वी इफ इट इज जड़ा तत्वा एज भूलोका देयर इज नो एक्सपेक्टेंसी दैट विल नो जड़ा कैन नॉट नो ओनली अ सेंशिएंट कैन नो ओनली चैतन्य कैन नो देयरफॉर यह यम पृथ्वी न पृथ्वी यम न वेद तद् ब्रह्म स परमात्मा दैट इज द आइडिया देयर इन द मंत्र इन द टीचिंग पृथ्वी देवता यन न वेद सो दैट यस्य यस्य परमात्मनः ब्रह्मणः पृथ्वी शरीरं भवति पृथ्वी शरीरः दिस पृथ्वी इज भूलोका दैट पृथ्वी शरीरः और पृथ्वी देवता इटसेल्फ देवता वी वोंट लुक एट देवता एज शरीरः बट देन दैट अधिष्ठात्र देवता वेयर एवर दैट अधिष्ठात्र देवता इज आइडेंटिफाइड विथ दैट लोका दैट लोका इज शरीरः फॉर परमात्मा इट कैन नॉट बी फॉर जीव फॉर एनीवन सर्वः पृथ्वीयां तिष्ठति therefore anyone can be the meaning yes it can be in vyakarana it is possible but it won't fit in the mantra thereby yamayati antarah yamayati has to be this antaryami has to be paramatma eva amruta amruta dharma is also mentioned in the same mantra and then you further look at the bhashya tatra etat syat prithvi devata eva antaryami iti सो पृथ्वी देवता इज अंतर्यामी दैट देवता कंट्रोल्स पृथ्वी पृथ्वी शरीर फॉर देवता देयर फॉर दैट पृथ्वी देवता इज अंतर्यामी अतः यमयति यम अंतर्यामिनम पृथ्वी देवता अपि न वेद एंड देन दैट पृथ्वी देवता डज नॉट नो व्हिच दैट इज द टीचिंग ओके पृथ्वी इज देवता बट देन विद इन दैट पृथ्वी देवता हु इज देयर दैट देवता व्हिच इज नॉट That tattva which is there within the Prithvi Devata, the Prithvi Devata does not know that tattva. Even the Prithvi Devata does not know that tattva. That tattva is upasya really. And does not know in which manner. Mai anyaha kaschid vartate iti. Within me there is someone else. Who is that someone else? It is the same sentient entity but not identified with the शरीरा, देर इज नो तादात्म्य संबंध विद शरीर दैट इज दि अदर देर आर नो टू एंटिटीज विद इन देर इज ओनली वन एज सून एज एन आइडेंटिफिकेशन कम्स इन विद दि शरीर कोशास् देन वन बिकम्स अ कर्ता भोक्ता बीट एन अधिष्ठातृ देवता बीट अ पृथ्वी देवता ऑल्सो दैट पृथ्वी देवता ईज पृथ्वी देवता बिकॉज देर इज अभिमान इन दि पृथ्वी दैट अभिमानी देवता इज परमात्म भिन्न इज फोर्स टू बिकम डिफरेंट फ्रॉम परमात्मा इन दि बुद्धि देर इज अ मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ अनदर एज अ रिफ्लेक्शन so the bimba will always be different from the pratibimba as long as pratibimba is seen as pratibimba as an individual existent entity a real one so long it will be different from the bimba therefore the bimba is someone within mai anyah kaschid vartate that paramatma is there separate but not known the second is not known so what is the issue is that as soon as the paramatma enters the sharira and so to say as though forgets one's own swarupa there is no krama like this but you know shruti makes it easier for understanding showing some krama srishti krama and then anena jeevena atmana anuprabishya 
So having created Sharira, entering the Sharira, whether it is the Prithvi Sharira and then thereby becoming Devata or individual Sharira and thereby becoming Samsari Jiva, as do forgetting the Swarupa, identifies with the reflection, Pratibimba. So with that Pratibimba formed and identification with the Pratibimba as Aham, there is no thinking also that there is another Paramatma. Then gradually there may be thinking that there is another who is Abhokta, who is Ishwara. And then over a period of time, with Bhagatyaga Lakshana Ityadi, when the Mahavakya understanding takes place, then that another is known as one's own Swarupa. So first, there is no other. I am the only one which is mentioned here. Mai Anya Kaschid Vartate Iti Na Veda. Prithvi Devata Api Na Veda. Kuta Jeeva. So Jeeva will So Kimu Jeeva, not Kuta. So Kuta ha Avidya. Avidya ya ha Prabhavat. So because of that this Jeeva or Prithvi Devata, both are Jeevas really. But from the perspective of the Samsari Jeeva, Prithvi Devata is Adishtatra Devata somewhere, so at a higher pedestal. Arha meaning worship worthy. Therefore, there is Bhinnatvam, there is Nanatvam. However, the Prithvi Devata that does not know Mayanya Abhyantaraha Kaschid Vartate and that is me. Till then, there will be Samsarana even for Prithvi Devata. So, in that, from that perspective, it is also Jiva. Now, Yasya Prithvi Shariram, who is that entity? Who the Prithvi does not know it is different from me. Yasya Prithvi Shariram, Yasya Cha Prithvi Veva Shariram Nanyata. Prithvi Devata hai Yat Shariram, Tadeva Shariram Yasya. So that Sharira which is there as Sharira of Prithvi Devata, where there is Tadatma Sammandha of that Devata. However, there is no Tadatma Sammandha of this other Anyaha, that is Paramatma. Tadeva Shariram Yasya. The same Sharira which is there of the Jiva, the same Sharira is of Paramatma also. The only difference is Jiva is identified with Tadatma Sammandha and Paramatma is not identified. That makes the difference really. And Sharira Granam Cha Upalakshanartham Ityadi. So the Bhashya talks about that. It covers every other Karana also, not only Sharira Ityadi. So anyway, this is the uh, Bhashya there which we look at to get more idea as to what is the refutation there. Because this vritti is very simple, it is very short. What does the vritti say? Tatra antaryami pradhanam. Puro Pakshi says it can be pradhanam. Uta animadi vishishta jivaha. Or this individual with limitations, all sorts of limitations, who is, who is you know, Limited in size and in all aspects, in Shakti, in everything, even if he is a Siddha Yogi, still Animadi, this Anima, Garima, Ityadi, Siddhis may be there. That kind of Siddhis also are not sufficient to make that Siddha Yogi as Upasya. cannot be antaryami. He cannot be antaryami at all. Uh, meaning, even if you consider him as antaryami and maybe the Siddhi allows him to be antaryami not only with related to oneself but with related to relation to others also. Maybe he is able to control others also with Siddhi. Even then, Amrutattva Dharma will not work. Tad Dharma Vipadeshat. So, Brahmana Dharma Vipadeshat. Brahma Dharma will not be there. Yogi cannot become Amruta, literally. Haan, aap, Apekshika Amrutattam may be there. May live longer, may live hundreds of years. 
you know, there is a talk about uh, in uh, these autobiography of yogi or other books there is a talk of baba ji all that may be possible we don't deny that but it is all in the on the realm in the realm of kala however long it is it is in the realm of kala which itself is in the realm of maya mithya so tatra antaryami pradhanam te sankhya उत अणिमादि विशिष्ट जीवा से योगी उता हो परमात्मा इति विषय सिद्धांति से परमात्मा इज पॉसिबल सो संशय इज देयर हु इज इट अमंग दीस थ्री प्रधान जीवो इति पूर्व पक्ष पूर्व पक्षी से सांख्या और योगी दे से प्रधान और जीव कैन नॉट बी परमात्मा सिद्धांतस्तु इह अधिदेवादिश श्रूयमाण अंतर्यामी परमात्मा एव सो व्हाट इज हर्ड इन द बृहद मंत्र दैट तत्वा अंतर्यामी हैज टू बी परमात्मा इन अधिदेव इत्यादि वन हु इज अ व्यापक तत्व प्रेजेंट इन एवरी वन के नॉट बी सिद्ध योगी ऑल्सो पूर्व पक्षी से जो के प्रधान अव्यक्त प्रधान कैन बी देर एवरी वेर बट सिद्धांति से इज नो ओनली परमात्मा वाय कुतः कस्मात कारण तद्धर्म उपदेशा तस् परमात्म ये धर्म तेषाम व्यपदेशा सो धर्माणाम व्यपदेशा हुज धर्मा आर दिस अमृतत्व इज नॉट अ प्रधान धर्म अंतर्यामी हैज बीन टॉक्ड पृथ्वीयां तिष्ठन आत्मत्वम हैज बीन टॉक्ड आत्मा अंतर्यामी दिस आत्मा मींस चैतन्य प्रधान इज नॉट चैतन्य प्रधान इज अ जड तत्व देयरफॉर आत्मा एंड यमयति हैज बीन मेंशन अंतर्यामी मींस व्हाट यमयति इज इज पॉसिबल ओनली इन अ चैतन्य तत्व चेतन तत्व अमृत तत्व कैन बी पॉसिबल ओनली फॉर अ चेतन तत्व इफ दी पूर्व पक्षी इंसिस्ट दैट अमृत तत्व कैन बी पॉसिबल देयर इज प्रवाह नित्यत्व देयरफॉर अमृत तत्व कैन बी पॉसिबल बट देन अमृत तत्व मींस व्हाट इट इज नॉट नित्यत्व इन दैट सेंस इट इज बीइंग प्रेजेंट बट दिस अमृत मींस दैट इट हैज टू बी With Atma in sync with Atma, it has to be Chaitanya Amrutattva. What is the point in saying that you will be immortal, but you will not, you will not be sentient at all. You will not be conscious. Who wants that kind of an immortality? The Bhagwan offers someone immortality, but says that you will be asleep through and through. That is not something that one one wants as moksha. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> so one wants uh, moksha which is chaitanya one should be alive to that moksha alive in the sense one should not be not knowing anything one should be knowing one should be knowing that i am existent that i am existent i have been existent forever i will be existent forever that is mukti that is what is sought after this is the fear of death otherwise everything that we are scared of is because i will cease to be that is the fear that cannot be there in moksha that shouldn't be in moksha which is promised as amruta therefore pradhana cannot be the meaning there jada pradhana cannot be the meaning and what are these dharmas which are talked about sarva uh, sarva antaryami pradhana cannot be ruling over anything it can be giving gunas but not ruling over that ruling over has to be chaitanya tattva so sarva sarvantaryamitva atmatva amrutatva deha all these gunas which are sadharan tesham ih vyapadesha dityartah tesham dharmanam kasya dharma parmatmanah tasya parmatmanah eva dharmanam यह व्यपदेशात अत्र व्यपदेशात द टीचिंग इज ऑफ परमात्म धर्मास नॉट प्रधान धर्मास और जीव धर्मास व्हाट एल्स इन द एंड तो दिल वस्यम सुतह सो देयर इन इन एंड ही एक्सप्लेन्स हु इज दिस परमात्मा इत्यादि सो वी विल स्किप दैट बिकॉज़ it is in the section of upasana where the teaching is what in the end in the end it is what 
अंतरह अभ्यंतर स्तिष्टन हु इज दैट पृथ्वी पृथ्वी देवताम यमयति नियमयति दैट अंतरयाम इज वन हु रूल्स ओवर द पृथ्वी बीइंग विद इन पृथ्वी रूल्स ओवर पृथ्वी एंड नॉट ओनली पृथ्वी एवरीवन एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग अंतरह अभ्यंतर स्तिष्टन एषत आत्मा ते आत्मा मींस तव आत्मा इट इज नॉट ओनली योर आत्मा मम च सर्वभूतानाच इट इज नॉट ओनली युवर आत्मा से इज दी आचार्य टू द शिष्य इन दैट बृहद मंत्र गिविंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पृथ्वी सेइंग दैट वन हु इज इन पृथ्वी हुम पृथ्वी डज नॉट नो वन हु कंट्रोल्स पृथ्वी हु इज एंडोर्ड विथ अमृतत्व इत्यादि धर्मास आत्मत्व अमृतत्व इत्यादि धर्मास दैट इज तो आत्मा ते आत्मा इट इज ते तव आत्मा इट इज युअर आत्मा युअर स्वरूप युअर स्वरूप इट इज एक्चुअली महावाक्य इफ यू लुक एट इट एंड मम च सर्वभूतानाम च इट इज युअर आत्मा एंड यू देयर इज उपलक्षण बिकॉज यू स्टैंड फॉर जीवा देयर जस्ट लाइक इन तत्वमसी त्वम इज श्वेतकेतु बट श्वेतकेतु इज अ जीवा जीवस्थानीय सो एनी जीवा कैन बी टेकन देयर एज त्वम By Tom Pada. Similarly here, te tava, tava atma, mama cha atma, sarva bhuta naam cha atma. Who is that? Antaryami. That Antaryami is one who is your sarupa, my sarupa, every jiva sarupa. Iti upalakshanartham yetat. Antaryami yaha tvaya prashtah. That Antaryami who has been questioned as to who it is, inquired into by you, amrutah, sarva samsara dharma varjita iti yetat. He is free from being a samsari that amruta atma you are that paramatma you are said the bhashya there it is the conclusion there in brahad mantra therefore what antaryami has to be paramatma in adideva dishu in because sarva bhutanam everywhere in adideva adibhuta and adhyatma one who is the inner ruler is paramatma because of tad dharma vipadesha because of dharmas belonging to paramatma alone being discussed not any others dharma they cannot belong to any other whether it is pradhana or jiva further in the next sutra nanu pradhanam antaryamya astu iti ashankyah so we have seen this in the first sutra of the adhikarana we look at some of the other sutras contents also because the refutation may be different and puropakshi may bring back parmatma in another manner and then the refutation will be with something else so pradhana has been refuted even in the first sutra it has been refuted because it has it is shown as parmatma what it means is that they are parmatma gunas not parmatma dharmas they are not any other dharma so we say they cannot be pradhana dharma or jiva dharma but puro pakshi me insist they can be pradhana why so we'll see that nanu pradhanam antaryami astu ityi ashankya pradhana can be antaryami it cannot be in our perspective it has to be chetana but puro pakshi says pradhana can be antaryami why because smriti says you are disrespecting smriti so pura pakshi's argument is that the way you say that logic is not sufficient in atindriya vishaya one who is within and antaryami is not indriya vishaya is atindriya vishaya you cannot objectify that antaryami nor can i so you the siddhanti who is claiming that one who is within has to be chetana need not be so because you have not objectified that kind of a chetana entity what you are saying is that logically it has to be chetana but you yourself say that logic is not sufficient if the shruti says it then we have to accept it or at least we think so tarkika says that even if shruti says it should fit tarka Siddhanti says that it it is not illogical. What we will show is that it is not illogical. We are not using logic 
to conclude we are using logic to show how it is possible as to what shruti says for our understanding it is not illogical it need not be logical it is beyond logic that is what we claim now puro pakshi says that you have used logic and i will show you shruti or smriti which is opposing this in that case you will have to somehow accept that it is right because even if it is failing logic being a illogical beyond logic we will say that it is pradhana so he says because smriti there is sankhya smriti which says that the smarta sankhya smriti says that it is pradhana entire darshana of sankhyas is based on that sankhya smriti so how about that so siddhanti answers nacha smartam atad dharma apilapat nacha smartam atad dharma apilapat siddhanti says that we have no compulsion to accept smriti if it is opposed to shruti what we have shown by logic is in keeping with shruti it is not opposing shruti whereas what your smriti text is showing that sankhya shruti smriti sankhya shruti is opposed to shruti when it is not opposed to shruti we will accept so we accept a lot of sankhya when you talk about uh, you know trigona trigonatmika maya trigonatmika maya is borrowed from sankhya we have no issues there when you talk about um, you know talk a lot about prakriti you call it pradhana but you talk about all sorts of divisions of uh, tattvas we accept more or less we do we don't have any argument there what we can use we will use what is not opposed to shruti we are okay with that as soon as you oppose shruti you are no longer a pramana smriti is no longer a pramana there so that is smriti smriti kalpitam sankhyam so nacha smartam smartam pradhanam smriti kalpitam pradhanam antaryami na bhavati why atad dharma apilapat the padachcheda is na cha smartam smartam is pradhanam the pradhana which is talked about in sankhya smriti that is smarta smriti sambaddhi smriti sambandhi smartam so that which is connected to smriti that is taddhita smarta so smartam pradhanam antaryami antaryami shabdasya arthah na bhavati kutah atad dharma apilapat because tat is pradhana here so atat is apradhana the dharmas which are discussed are not pradhana dharmas they are apradhana dharmas they are atat apradhana dharmas meaning what atat atat dharmas are apradhana dharmas which are brahma dharmas tat is pradhana atat is pradhana bhinna pradhana bhinna is brahma so what we saw as tad dharma vyapadesha brahma dharma vyapadesha now at what has been said same thing instead of vyapadesha abhilapa has been mentioned the word used is abhilapa similar meaning what is discussed there is brahma dharma in the 18th sutra what is said this it is brahma dharma and now what is said if you see insist that it is pradhana it is not pradhana why because apradhana dharma are discussed it cannot be pradhana so you want to negate pradhana as the possibility even as a possibility so that's the meaning here smartham sankhyam smriti kalpitam pradhanam na antaryami antaryami bhavitum na harati pradhanam and now ikara is hraswa because pradhana is neuter earlier paramatma was shown as antaryami therefore ikara the ikara was dirgha there antaryami kutah what is the reason that you refutes pradhana as a possibility of being antaryami in prithvi ityadi atad dharma api tapat atra tat shabdena pradhanam uchyate na tat atat 
So it's a nan samasa, nan tatpurusha. Not that. That means pradhana. And not that is what? Not pradhana. Pradhana bhinna paramatma. Who is not par- pradhana? Paramatma is not pradhana. So the nanj there is bhinna artha. Bhinna arthe nanj. And that bhinna artha is pradhana bhinna paramatma. That is the meaning of atat. And atat dharma. Atasya dharma. Ha. So tasya eva chetanasya ye dharma. Paramatmana dharma. Not pradhana's dharma, but paramatma's dharmas. Atat dharmas are what? Adrushta, adrushta, shruta, shruta, iti vakya sheshe. Shruya mana adrushta tvadeya ha dharma ha. Tesham iha abhilapat. Abhidana dityartha. What is mentioned there? Abhilapa is, there is mention, <coughs> there is there is a statement which covers or rather there are, the dharmas are stated. <coughs> what are these dharmas which are stated? The mantra says what? Adrishtaha, drishta, shrutaha, shrota. What is this? Adrishtaha, drishta, shruta, ashrutaha, shrota. So that's how the cheda is. So if you look at the mantra itself, it says Adrushto drashta, Ashruta shrota, Amato manta, Avidnyato vidnyata, Amrutaha, Sarva samsara dharma varjitaha, Sarva samsarinam karma phala vibhaga karta, Eshati atma antar yam yamrutaha. And then Asmad Ishwara Atmanyat Artam. In the Bhashya, you will see that. What does the Bhashya say on this Adrushta, Adrushta, Adrushta? So, what is said is that Adrushtaha. <coughs> In the Brihad Mantra, it is said Adrushtaha. Okay, Adrushta. Uropakshi says Adrushta can be Pradhan also. Pradhan is also Adrushta. Paramatma is Adrushta. Pradhana is also adrushta. What is the problem in taking? Pradhana as the meaning. Immediately the Shruti says drashta. Yes, Pradhana can be adrushta. We, we have no issues there. Yadyapi adrushta tvadi vyapadesha pradhana se sambhavati. This adrushta, you know, ashruta, all these you can. The first part, adrushta, ashrutaha, amataha, avidnyataha, all these can be Pradhana gunas also, we don't have any objection there. We agree, yes, they can be Pradhana. They can be Pradhana dharmas, therefore you can misinterpret as Pradhana. <coughs> Still, Drashta, Shrota, Manta, Vidnyata are there in Samana Rikaranyam. What may be unseen but is a seer, what is unheard but is a hearer, listener, what is unknown but knows, So all that can mean only Paramatma. Because Chaitanya Dharmas are there. <coughs> Shravana. So Shrota. Shravana Karta Shrota. Manana Karta Manta. Jnana Karta meaning one who can know. Vijnata. All these have to mean Chaitanya. Pradhana is not Chaitanya. Therefore, Chaitanya Vastu is meant there. Tasyeva Chaitanasya Paramatmanaha Natu Pradhanasya Ye Dharma Ha. Which are those really? Drashta, Shruta, Manta, Ityadi, Vidnyata. Not Adrashta only. Adrashtaha, Ashrutaha, Amataha, Avidnyata can mean Pradhana, but in the same breath, the Shruti says Drashta, Shruta, Manta, Vidnyata. Amruta also, if you misinterpret, still Drashta, Shrota, Ityadi cannot be misinterpreted. And if you say they are, you know, Gauna, all this has all, already been refuted in the first Pada. So, Tasseva, Chetanasya, Dharma, Ha, Adrashto, Drashta, Shrota, Shrota, meaning Adrashta, Drashta, Ashrata, Shrota, Iti, Vakya, Sheshe. If you look at just Adrushta, just Ashruta, then you may think that it is Paramatma. But Vakya Shesha is what? Drashta, Shruta, Manta, Vijnata, Vakya Shesha, Shruyamana, Adrushta, Tvadayaha. 
you are just picking some parts, but then if you look at the entire mantra and the section there, Tesham, Amrutatwadi, Gunas, which are talking about, Adrushtatwadi, all these are Paramatma Dharmas, not Pradhana Dharma. They are Apradhana Dharma. So, Atad Dharma Pilapat, Tesham, Iha Vilapat, Abhidana, Dityartaha. So, mantra was Yo Retasi, Tishtan. Reta so antaro, yam reto na veda, yasya reta ha shariram, yo reto antaro, yamayat kesha, ta atma antar yam yamruto, so amrutaha. So, what we have seen in the case of Prithvi, then reta also. So, there is a there is a refrain, there is, a, you know, you take each and every of these adhidevata, ityadi, you pick one of these and then show as to that tattva which that entity doesn't know. Retas does not know that entity. Who is that entity? Who is within that Retas also and is the inner control of Retas also. Just like in the case of Prithvi. So there is a refrain of lot of, you know, samplings are given. All these are Upalakshanas. And then you can extend it to everything. There, only some part was quoted earlier. Therefore, Puravapakshi had the audacity to misinterpret it as Pradhana. So there, this Vakya Shesha, if you look at Vakya Shesha, you look at Adrashta, Drashta, Ashrutaha, Shrota, Amataha, Manta, Avidnyata, Vidnyata, Na Anyaha, Ato Asti, Drashta. Then, we quote this off, I mean, you see Bhagavan Bhashyakara quoting this off on this part, only part. But it is the entire mantra, if you look at it, Puro Pakshi is looking at one part, saying that, oh, Adrashta, Ityadi, can be Pradhana Gunas, Pradhana Dharmas. But if you look at this, na anya atahasti drashta. So if you say, na anya kasma danya pradhan pradhana tanya if the puropakshi claims, then does it fall in place? Na ataha asmat pradhana anya asti drashta is meaningless. Pradhana cannot be drashta. Figurative usage isn't there, it is literal usage. Drashta shows consciousness, it does not show Jada Tattva. Na Anyata Asti Shrota, Na Anyata Asti Manta, Na Anyata Asti Vidyata Esha Te Atma Te Tava Mama Sarveshamcha Atma Antaryami Amrutha And then Ataha Anyat, Asmad anya, Anyat, whatever is other than this Paramatma is all Artham. Your Pradhana is also Artha. It is not something which is bhuma, it is not something which is vas tattva, vyapaka tattva, it is not, which is upasya, even in the upasana section, it is not upasya, brahma is upasya, paramatma is upasya. And then, you know, the acharya says, you follow this, you do upasana on this tattva. Nanu tarhi chetano jivaha yogi bhavatu antaryami. So, who is that Antaryami? Let it not be Pradhana, says Yogi. The Yoga follower, Yoga Darshana follower, says that, okay, let it not be Sankhya's Pradhana, let it be Yogi, a Siddha Yogi. Who is Chetana? What is the problem there? Antaryami, Jeevaha, Yogi Jeevaha Bhavatu, Natu Chetanatva, Tasya Chetanatva, Natu Pradhana, Natu Pradhanam, Natu Pradhanam, Pradhanasya, Achetanatva, Jadatvat. Mahbhut, let it not be, but let it be Chetana Jeeva. Chetana Jeevaha, Siddha Yogi. So Siddha Yogi can be Antaryami. That is refuted in the 20th Sutra. Shari Rashchobhayapi hi bhede nainam adhiyate. Shari Rasho Bhaya Pihi Bhede Naina Madhi Yate. So Shari Raha Shari Raha Cha Ubhaye Api Hi Bhede Na Enam Adhi Yate. That is the Padacheda. So Ubhaye Ubhaye meaning in there are two different recensions, there are two different shakhas, meaning the there is a bheda, sampradaya bheda in brihad. So there is a kanava shakha and there is a madhyandina shakha. Both the ubhaye 
in both shakhas in karno shakhas and in karno shakha as well as madhyandina shakha there is patha veda all right but both talk about what they talk about this very tattva that i am talking about not your jiva they talk about paramatma so sharira sharira who is what sharira shariram asya asti one who has so sharira sharira sambandhi this is tad dai sharira sambandhi one who has identification tadatmya sambandhena sharira bhavati shariri basically shariri if you take matu parthe any you will get shariri in the same meaning let sharira one who is associated with sharira is sharira who is that jeeva so sharira jeeva cha ubhaye api hi bhedena enam adhiyate the no has to be brought brought down there is a no here this no has to be brought down there is an anushanga there is an anuvrutti of this no into the next sutra so what does it mean sharira antaryami na शारीर जीव अंतर्यामी न भवितुमर्हति कुतः सो शारीर च शारीर जीव च अंतर्यामी भवितु न अर्हति च च शोज दैट अदर देन प्रधान सो प्रधान प्रधान विच वॉज टॉक्ड अबाउट एंड जीवा नाव सांख्या प्रधान एंड योगी जीव शारीर जीव कैनॉट बी अंतर्यामी वाय उभय इन बोथ शाखा कानो एंड मध्यम दिन शाखा उभय अभी ही यस्मा थी यस्मा कारण भेदेन एनम अधीयते सो दे टॉक अबाउट दिस अंतर्यामी विच इज परमात्मा सॉरी सो एनम एनम अधीयते बिकॉज दिस जीवा इज दी कंट्रोल्ड they talk about both the pathas both the shakhas with patha bheda also they talk about this jiva as the controlled not as the controller antaryami not as antaryami but as the antaryami vishaya as one who is controlled niyamatvena he is the niyamya shariraha niyamya bhavitum arhati na tu niyamakah the jiva is not the controller he is the controlled इन बोध दि शाखा देर फोर ये भेदेन एन मधीयते मोर इन दि वृत्ति सो वॉट इज वृत्ति से शारी न अंतर्यामी पूर्व सूत्र नंज अनुषंग दि न नंज दट इज देर इज न इज नंज हियर दिस न हेज टू बी ब्रॉड डाउन द निगेशन हेज टू बी ब्रॉड डाउन हियर एंड देर बाय शारी जीव अंतर्यामी न न अंतर्यामी kasmat kotha what is the reason why do you say it cannot be jeeva ubhay api what is that in one shakha yo vidnyane tishthan in another shakha iti kanva in kanva shakha yo vidnyane tishthan and then what yamayati and here ya atmani tishthan again yamayati antaryami means yamayati ya atmani tishthan whether it is vidnyane tishthan or atmani tishthan iti madhyam dina ha इन दि मध्यम दिन शाखा आत्मनी तिष्टन एंड इन काण शाखा विज्ञान तिष्टन ते अभी अंतर्यामीण भेदेन एनम शारीर पृथिव्यादिवत्ष्ठान निमत्न निम्यन चधीयते दि चैंटिंग ऑलसो इज लाइक दट वॉट इज द चैंटिंग यज्ञान तिष्टन दिस विज्ञान यू दिस जीवा विज्ञान मय कोश इज वन सोन atma the jiva is only jeeva is jiva only when one is identified with jnanamaya kosha as me i am an intellectual i i have buddhi all these ideas are there i am an individual then alone one becomes jiva because the individualization is with identification with vijnanamaya kosha so yah vijnane tishtan that who is jiva is vijnana na vijnana maya by vijnana what is meant is this jiva no so yah vijnane jeeve sharire jeeve tishtan meaning what one who is present within this jiva one who is present within the jiva cannot be jiva there is virodha you cannot be outside and inside and be two <coughs> you cannot be both you have to be either within or outside 
So here if you say Vijnane Trishtan, one who is within you cannot be you. So Jiva cannot be the meaning. One who is within Jiva has to be different from Jiva. Otherwise you should not say within. Yapaka Tattva, who is everywhere, is not within. Cannot be said to be within. So one who is said to be within and has to be separate from this within whom he is. So who is within Vijnana Jiva is Antaryami. That Vijnana Shari, Sharira Jiva cannot be Antaryami. And in uh, Madhyandina Shaka, this was Karnava. In Madhyandina Shaka, Ya Atman Tishtan. The Atma there is also Jiva. Jiva Atman Tishtan. Similar reasoning. Same reasoning. Not similar. Words are similar. The reasoning is same. One who is within cannot be Jiva. Within Jiva is different from Jiva. So, Bhedena Enam Adhiyate. Enam Shariram Bhedena. That Antaryami is shown to be different. So, te api antaryami naha bhedena enam shariram. So, here ubhay api, there are two shaka, two shaka followers, they are in plural, te. What do they do? So, te api antaryami naha bhedena enam shariram, enam shariram jivam, just like prithvi, retas, ityadi, this jiva is also said to be Separate from that Antaryami, whom the Jiva does not know, whom the Jiva not only does not know, but who is controlling this Jiva, Antaryami, Antastitva Yamayati, that is the Upasya. So, Bhedena Enam Shariram Prithivyadi Vat, just like Prithvi Reta Sityadi that we saw in the earlier mantras, Adhishthanatvena Niyamyatvena Cha. Is an adhisthana for Paramatma to be present and to control also. Therefore, the controller Antaryami is Paramatma and the controlled Prithvi, Jee, uh, Retas, Jeeva, Ityadi are Niyamya, controlled. Niyamyatvena, Bhedena, Niyamyatvena. Cha adhiyate. Ataha adhidevadishu Antaryami, Paramatma evaiti siddham. So, one who is present in all adhideva, adhibhuta and adhyatma, Everywhere the inner controller Antaryami is Paramatma Brahma, not Pradhana or Jiva. This is Siddha, this is established. This ends the Antaryami Adhikarana. We look at the we look at the Adrishatwadi Adhikarana in the next part. Amna Yantika Sam Siddham Adi Madhyanta Varjitam Ananda Ghana Mahapuranam Atma Jyoti Rupasmihi. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.